Welcome back you guys, my name is Austin and if you were able to watch last week's video we finished our coop and run, our run um, framing and we got it all stained and ready for roofing and for the hardware cloth and as soon as Sarah and I wrapped up that video I got an email that our roofing was ready to be picked up so I went ahead and I went down to our local hardware store, picked up our roofing and in the same day, I'm gonna try and see how much I can throw up and really get this run coming together and looking like a nice structure. All right, I'm gonna unbox a roofing. He's always there for you. Ah, you alone. Well, Flannel and a sweatshirt was the wrong choice. It's too hot out here. Yeah. Quick wardrobe change. <laughs> Quick wardrobe change. <laughs> and we're back at it with the roofing. <laughs> Let's do it. Hard to resist. Got me looking like this, like the one before. Cause I must be strong. Cause this might go on for long. Cause I was wrong. So we got the roof up and it went up pretty well, um, considering that we didn't necessarily have a perfectly straight frame to work with. And I'm not a professional carpenter, so my dog's running away. Be right back. Well, that about sums up our life out here. Our dogs are always trying to run away while we're doing projects or chasing something. Um, as I was saying though, the roof went up and it went up well, and there's a few areas that I'm gonna need to kind of clean up, but I'll throw some trim pieces up here and it's gonna look like you wouldn't even be able to tell that it wasn't done professionally. So I'm really happy and uh, the only thing left to do because we're still waiting on our hardware cloth is to put up some trim pieces. So I'm gonna put up as much as I can. We'll see how much I can get done. Welcome back, it's a few days later since we have gotten our hardware cloth delivered and so today's goal is to try and get that finished and put on as best as we can. We got the muscle here so she'll be stretching it out. <laughs> so we'll be stretching the fence out as much as we can because we don't have like a, a come along or a fence stretcher or anything like that. So we're gonna unpack this and see if we can slap this up and make it look nice and pretty. Sound good? Sounds good. Boom. That was a terrible Knox weight. <laughs> Boom. Not gonna lie, it started off really rough yeah. when we were putting these on. And we figured out a system of doing each section individually instead of trying to do the entire thing in one go. And it's working a lot better. And we're getting our work out in. Yeah. I love fencing. I love it. Mildly infuriating. 
I agree. All right. We did it. We did it. We finished all of the, the hardware cloth that we can. So we still have to do the door. And I think that's it then for the hardware cloth. Yeah. Door and then we'll put on a strip kind of to cover up where the two hardware cloths meet. I'll show you here in a second. Um, yeah, 10 out of 10 would recommend though. Just if you have free time, just find yourself a good chicken coop to put hardware cloth on. <laughs> it's just so fun. I loved every second of it today. Uh, yeah, it was great. Yeah, it's a good thing we're married because I might have scared you off otherwise. Yeah. But like we said, we started slow and then we got our rhythm down and it turned out really nice. So I'm I'm really happy with how it how it looks so far and Me too. Yeah. And it's uh yeah, it's coming along nicely. So it's a hot coop. It's a hot coop, I would say so For too. For hot chickens. For hot chickens, yeah. Yeah, they don't even know. They've always lived a life of luxury. So they have. They get it well. I'm gonna go, we're gonna go ahead and try and stain some of these and get some of the trim pieces up and we will pick up tomorrow. Peace. Well, welcome back you guys. Today is going to be the last day that we have for building our run. I can't believe that it's coming together this quickly and it's honestly looking really well. So the last thing that I have to do today is I'm gonna stain some of our trim pieces um, where the two meshes meet and the bottom pieces tack that up and then I have to build a door and get that screened in. I'm gonna try and do one of those double doors where the top and the bottom open. So if we just wanna throw like food scraps or something in there, we can open the top door, throw that in and then obviously open the entire thing if we wanted to walk in. So that is today's goal. I think we're gonna get it done. I think by the end of this video, we will have the run finished. Here we go. So we have the trim pieces staining right now and drying and so I'm going to go ahead and try and build this door here. I'm going to do a simple door with two latches that open up top and the bottom and we'll see how this turns out. Yes, I know. I'm building the door. Are you helping me build the door? Oh. Alright, we are going to use, or try and use, pocket holes here. We'll see how this works. I feel like every single project we do, or I do, it's the same kind of mindset of, well, we'll try it and if we screw up, we'll fix it. That's how I feel most of the time. Hey, darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling. We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little this, What a beautiful door this will be All of a sudden I'm British Nice Alrighty, the door is finished and everything is stained that can be stained and so we're just waiting for stuff to dry. So we're gonna have an early dinner and Sarah right now is preparing something that is a really big surprise for us, or it's a first time for us. We're gonna be making homemade sushi. Of 
and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Alright, we are going to be doing a live, well, recorded, reaction of our sushi rolls. Da -da -da -da, they're beautiful. Versus Walmart frozen and unthawed sushi rolls. You mean thawed. Or, yeah, what did I say? Unthawed? Unthawed. Thawed sushi rolls. They are both spicy crab. And uh, yeah, should we dig in? Let's, Let's do, do this one first. Okay. Cheers. Um, this one's making me nervous. <laughs> It looks pretty good. I'm gonna try it with this sauce. Oh no, I dropped it in my sauce. About what you would expect. It's not bad, like, I, like I'm gonna eat it. It's very bland. I'm not gonna eat it. It doesn't have, the texture is like eh. The rice is really dry. Yeah, I don't know. I would. What would you rate it out of ten? I would give it like a two and a half. Maybe if it was like two a.m., maybe a four. Yeah, I would give it like a two or a three. I've had worse sushi, one time. Oh, I'm just spilling. But it's pretty bad, so yeah. I'm not gonna eat any more of it. Okay, fair you enough. Could give it to the dogs if you're not gonna. Eat yeah. Well, we got plenty here, so. Sorry, Walmart. All right, and this is our homemade. It's also Walmart ingredients, but sh it's homemade, made with love. Spicy crab. Cheers. It's definitely better. It's better than Walmart's. It's definitely better. Definitely not restaurant grade. It's like... It's definitely homemade sush. Yeah, it tastes fresher, but it's... Um, yeah, it needs something else. So, I, I don't know. Maybe in the soy sauce will help. But, oh, my, this one's coming apart. We're gonna finish this, and then we will see you outside when we finish the run. The yes. run. Yes. Woo! Finally. We are really bad at high fives and not, because we miss every time. <laughs> are you ready, ready, ready? You only hit this now. Ready? Do it, three, two, one. We didn't quite finish, but that's okay. We have only maybe 20 minutes left of things to do tomorrow, and then the run is going to be done. What I'm gonna do tonight, just to finish up, because I can still work in the garage, is I'm gonna finish the door, and then, yeah, I'm so excited to show you guys tomorrow when it's light out. It looks so good, and I'm really proud of how much we accomplished tonight after dinner. We got everything that we wanted to done. So, I'm gonna work on the door, and then we will pick it up tomorrow morning. Peace. Welcome back you guys. Today we are finishing the run. Finally, last night we literally worked to the last ray of sunshine and it was pitch black by the time we were done, but we got all of the trim pieces up and it looks phenomenal. I'm so happy with how it turned out. Right now, Sarah and I are going to get the door attached and then we just have a couple of pieces like attaching the wire still to this inner trim here. And this thing is going to be done, which is so crazy. I'm so happy we finished this in like a week and it looks really, really good. We're gonna go attach the door. When you forget to record one of the most important steps of the run. Ta-da, we have half a door. Let's do the bottom half. Not everything's perfect. No. Most things aren't that we do. But they work. Shoot, forgot about that.
All right, so we are in the home stretch of finishing the run and it looks so good. I am so happy. The last thing we have to do is we have to tackle that. And you're probably like, what is that? That's that. A full cubic yard or so of mulch that is gonna go behind me in the run. It's gonna act as the bedding and the idea hopefully is that the chickens will scratch at it. They will eat some of the things that we throw in there, some of the plants, some of the scrap foods that we have between the mulch, the scrap foods, the poop, manure, compost, bada bing, bada boom. We're gonna have some healthy soil hopefully while the chickens earn their keep here at the homestead. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna try not to break my back and then we're gonna be done with this. Amazing, amazing, here we go. I'm happy to say after a number of days and hours of just sweat and hard work and grit, our run is complete. And we're so excited to have this up and available for the chickens and the ducks now to use. We're gonna slowly introduce them. But the more interesting step in this whole process, which is gonna be in next week's video, is building our coop. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. My name is Austin. And uh, yeah, if you want to check out last week's video, feel free to go ahead. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. Peace. What do you do it? Ow.